Whether or not you believe in reincarnation, the desire to live forever is core to who we are. And there's this amazing book by Kim Stanley Robinson called The Years of Rice and Salt. And again, without revealing everything, guys, you might want to mute if you haven't read it, but um, it explores what would it mean if we were able to sense our reincarnation? And what would happen if we could track our soul like coming back? And when you think about it, there's huge incentives, especially for the ultra wealthy, to be able to do this. Like I'm hearing whispers about companies where they're like, okay, you know, we're, we're starting now with really crude house, right? We're like, I'm gonna, what was that company that was like, I'm gonna freeze you at the point of death. So Alcor. that, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so people are already pursuing very brutal kind of early ways of living forever or being able to reconstitute themselves or come back to life. But there's this fantasy, and if science fiction and the progression of technology is any indicator, you know, we will move to a point where we might be able to track our soul's reincarnation. And there is so much economic benefit to that. Imagine being able to leave your billions of dollars to yourself. It sounds crazy, but like people are thinking about it. Wait, but hold on. This requires the existence of a soul. Sure, sure. We, which we can argue about. We can argue about. But, uh, but the chance is enough to oh, make people obsessed with the question. <laughs>